All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to uh, another tutorial for um, Trihawk Global. And this here is a healer uh, god um, for playing uh, Traha uh, dungeons. This is uh, 51k uh, Aten level CP requirement dungeon. This is the newest uh, raid. And we are fighting this dragon. And as a healer, I think we have two healers in here. I've uh, played this with with me being like the only healer in the uh, in the queue. So um, as a healer, you gotta keep your allies tapped. Uh, basically, keep them all healthy, keep the hit point up. Always, it's always important uh, because at some point, like the uh, boss might do like burst damage, and if you if they were if the hit point wasn't really really up in the first place it's gonna be a lot more difficult for you to uh, tap them back up so it's always should always be in your best interest to keep these guys as healthy as healthy as possible uh, so you guys can successfully uh, complete the run all right so uh, this here looks like there are some guildies in here the EXG guild and I'm just a pog to them but I'm doing my part and this is a random dungeon run so we are all here working together I'm not even sure if these guys are from the same fashion as I am uh, so when you are healing uh, what you want to do is you want to have uh, your passive you want to have all of your passives up as much as possible and as you guys can see there, I put my shoot up before I got hit, which is a good thing because it mitigates the damage. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, you want your passive up, like those little uh, souls-like thingy that are up there. You want all three of them up as always, I mean, uh, for as long as possible, uh, so that you can get a maximum value out of your healing. And... Uh, I might not be like the most gear player in here, but I am doing a lot of work uh, to keep these guys up. And I'm doing a decent amount of healing. Um, as you guys can see, all of these guys here have like shiny titles under their name, shiny symbols and whatnot. And, uh, and I'm not just a freeloader. <laughs> I'm actually doing my part, so uh, that's, that's good. Right, um, also in the dungeons, you can look at the stats here. Uh, you can see who's doing the most damage, who's doing the most healing, and all that stuff by clicking right here. Um, so, if you are trying to experiment with your build and stuff, you can always check the, um, the stats over there to see, like, uh, did my build do enough healing? Did my build do enough shooting? Am I taking enough damage and still surviving and stuff? And all of that stuff all comes into play. Uh, in your next runs and stuff when you are actually gonna be uh, find yourself in, in situations where you really really got to uh, perform to a top level and stuff and as you guys can see uh, corpse is a ranger uh, support ranger and support ranger is kind of meta right now everybody is playing a uh, ranger as uh, I mean archer as a uh, healing class uh, anyways it doesn't mean that staff is not good though. Even though staff just got buffed for uh, DPS mainly, staff is still good at, heal at healing, right? Um, you just gotta build it right, and you just need uh, more item level and stuff and stats. And so, as you guys can see, the uh, boss would drop AOE, and you have to dodge those AOE. Uh, even if like you don't dodge it, and it seems like you are not taking enough damage from it, like. It's always good to learn how to dodge AOE against bosses because it's just a good thing. Uh, in the future, you might actually find a boss that will actually do a lot of damage to you if you don't dodge the AOE. So if you learn it sooner, the better um, you're going to be when situation actually comes into play. Now you got to chain the boss and then you got to get out of his uh, frontal where he's about to cast a massive... Uh, uh, frost blast from his mouth. I yeah yeah from his mouth. I thought he was gonna fly and like and like uh, swoop it down. 
But yeah. Anyways. After that, he starts slapping really, really hard. Um, if you really want to see the actual hit point of the boss, there it is. Right? Um, but... And that's how you know, like, uh, how far you guys are. Right? Once the boss start getting super low, that's when you start hitting really hard. So that's when the healers actually start doing more work. And this is why I was saying, like, you always got to keep your, your allies uh, hit point as high up as possible right so that when stuff like this happens uh, you guys can take can still survive after taking all that damage all right so uh, Guy, I cannot review his uh, he's from the enemy fashion. This is uh, night fashion. Oh, one of our allies died. Am I the new target now from the uh, for the bus? No, uh, it looks like the other scythe took on the uh, tanky role. And uh, again, the bus hit really hard. It's a new dungeon, so it's pretty much like the hardest, the hardest, um, obviously, like uh. We are not really hit the surface of like high uh, damage um, within the dungeon yet. Um, but this is like, I think this is like the most doable uh, version of the dungeon. Um, the rest require like a guild, like a proper uh, formatted, properly formatted guild, organized uh, team comp to actually run. So. Alright, so healing, uh, another tip I want to give is, uh, apart from the stats and keeping your allies hit point up, uh, you can always, a lot of people complain about how healing is really difficult, um, that's because they don't know how to target the uh, type of person they want to heal, and to target, you can either click the person name in, in uh, the game world, or you can click that name via the UI, right, the UI is right here. And we got a team again. Uh, Somebody is on the other side, hopefully. If you don't chain him, his AoE goes across like that and he just wipes the entire guys that are over there. Alright, so it's always good. Uh, I think I should have done that while I was on the other side of the map. I guess I'm gonna actually stop playing on this side so I can uh, be able to heal, I mean, uh, to support. Uh, when it comes to chaining the boss Anyways, you can click your allies via the UI right here and that way you can you can target them and direct your healings to them And that's something to keep in mind when you're in like a massive group and uh, It's a little bit difficult to um, Support your allies, right? So uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial for the uh, Traha um there's no reset here you only run this once a day i think and this one you run once a week and i'm gonna queue for this but i doubt anybody is queuing for this oh never mind but i damn <clears throat> i think i missed that i'm still in queue i think i missed that anyways i queue for this for a while and nothing popped so uh yeah that's all i want to tell you guys um you also want to uh make sure you get the red spirit cards for healing and you want to stack up on the on the actually if anybody needs help with those you can just let me know and i'll tell you guys which stats you want to have for a healer um but yeah i'll it's kind of fun for people to figure things out on their own so i, I don't want to say which type of stats and all that, that stuff um, as for dungeons though, the dungeons can be a little bit complex, so um, that's why I, make the, I made this uh, recording, so 
Thanks for watching. If you're new here, you can subscribe if you want. And hit the thumbs up and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.